Living in student accommodation is one of the highlights of coming away to study. You're going to meet people from all over the world and experience lots of new and exciting things. Living at uni though, you must be aware of the risks, such as fire safety and what you can do to prevent them. When the fire alarm sounds, it's important to leave the building immediately. Walk calmly to your nearest exit and do not stop to collect belongings. Do not wait for others, just make sure you get to your designated assembly point. Wait for help to arrive. Fire takes hold in a matter of minutes, so it's vital you act quickly and calmly to stay safe at uni. So as you can see, we've got a fire that's starting to develop in this kitchen. It looks like somebody's left a tea towel quite close to the toaster, and this is one easy way that a fire can get hold in your kitchen area. The fire's now starting to develop. It's climbed away from the toaster, and it's starting to touch the bottom of the kitchen cupboards. So in your cupboards, you may well have a lot of cereal boxes, things like that, that can very quickly catch fire. It's now catching hold of the grill pan, and the grill pan in this situation's got quite a lot of fat in it, and the fat's heated up very, very quickly, and all of a sudden now this fire will start to develop quicker and quicker as it catches more combustible materials in its path. You'll notice now that there's a significant amount of black smoke that's been given off by the fire, and it's the smoke that will actually kill in this situation. So from a small fire just involving the toaster and a tea towel around it, we're at this ferocious fire involving the whole kitchen and all of that's just taken seven minutes. And in that time you could have just nipped out of the room to make a phone call or send an email to a friend. So at this stage now we're actually going to ask the fire and rescue crews to go into this fire in their breathing apparatus and extinguish the fire. Most fires start in kitchens when cooking is left unattended. In your accommodation, you're not only responsible for your own safety, but also for the safety of those around you. There are some very basic things that we can do to prevent fires in our accommodation. Never leave tea towels on the hobs. Always place in a safe environment away from the cooker. Toasters. Vital to students up and down the country, but jamming bread in it and leaving it over time can cause all kinds of problems. One of the most common causes of fire in your student residence can be your grill pan. If your grill pan is really greasy, it's not only gross, but if left unattended, it can ignite really easily. This next point is really important. Never cover up or tamper with smoke alarms or heat detectors. If they're damaged or covered up, a small fire left alone can lead into a very serious large one. They could spread throughout the building and endanger many lives. Never ever leave anything on the hob unattended, as this is a massive fire hazard. Fire doors, the ones with the blue and white signs, have everything you need to know already written on them. Keep them shut. People often set fire alarms off as a joke. This not only wastes everybody's time, but also puts people's lives at risk. It means that the fire department are called out when they could be dealing with real fires. Don't set them off. Finally, don't mess around with the fire extinguishers or safety equipment. They're essential for fighting fires, and if they're faulty, it could put you and your friends in danger. So remember, never leave cooking unattended. Fire doors must be kept shut. Never tamper with smoke detectors or firefighting equipment. And always know your evacuation route and assembly point. The following items are banned at your residence. Any electrical items without the CE mark. Portable heaters, gas or electric. Electric blankets, socket cube adapters,
clip-on desk lights, fairy lights, extra fridges, extra microwaves, chip pans or large pans with oil, deep fat fryers without thermostatic control, portable grills, candles or incense sticks, naked flame appliances, barbecues, electronic cigarettes, nitrous oxide or laughing gas, fireworks, extra furniture. This building is a no smoking building, which includes the use of e-cigarettes. Your accommodation has been built to a high standard. If the fire alarm is raised within any area of the building, the alarm will sound initially on the floor of activation only. If another smoke head or call point is activated, the alarm will sound throughout the building. Only when you hear the alarm should you evacuate the building. The fire alarm system is tested every week. Times and days are displayed on notices in your accommodation. Practice evacuations are undertaken twice a year. In your flat you'll find details of how to evacuate the building and where to assemble outside. Familiarise yourself with them, rehearse them, learn them. If you are in any doubt regarding the fire evacuation procedures, ask a member of the Hall's management team. They can save your life. So as you can see, this kitchen has been completely destroyed in about seven minutes. We want you to enjoy your time at uni, but please take fire safety seriously, because it could save your life. Moving into accommodation for the first time is a fantastic experience. You're going to make lots of new friends and have some brilliant times. Just follow these simple rules to stay safe and things will be even better.